Hey there guys, welcome to the very first tutorial series. So basically this is the first tutorial that we are making on YouTube for the Python all your series and course. So basically let me introduce myself. So hello and my name is Pratish. I will be your instructor in this whole programming series. So basically let's start with our agenda. So here is our agenda. First of all, we will be making the backend using Python and this will be a really cool application that is downloader application just using Python. Now the second part, we will be doing the designing of the UI alongside with JavaScript, CSS and HTML. Then we will be using the eel to connect the Python alongside with JavaScript and HTML even though. And the final part, we will be exporting our project, which looks better really. So here is the basic programming and here is the design that we are doing. So this will be a downloader application. First of all, you need to type the URL and then file name and file type. After that, you have to just download your file. Basically, this is it. So this will be our final project. So the requirements are very simple. You need to install Python version 3 that is the latest version and you also need to install the all new version of download which is an external package comes for Python. So let me just go and show you how can you install Python. So we are inside the website that is python.com and here you get a download section so let me just click there. So basically this is the download section and hit that. So you got this kind of web page next. So if you are a Windows user then you can use the Windows downloader file or if you are a Mac OS user then just click on that Mac OS X whatever that is. So just click on that and after that being done you have different kind of edition coming out there. So let me make sure that you should download the stable edition that is Python 3.8.5. July 20, 2020. Okay, so let me just install that. So hit that Python icon. So this is the final part where we will be installing the package. This is an external package index by PYPI. So simply go onto the search bar and search for download and hit that search icon. So it done. After hitting that, you will get a tons of result. So we will be downloading this package that is 0.3.5 at the top which has uploaded at April 24, 2020. This is the latest edition so make sure to download it. And if you are to install this using your command promote then I will be showing you the alternative way. So I am inside my Mac and just type in pip install download and hit enter. For me the requirements is already satisfied so uh, I don't need to install it anymore. So after that been done, let's go into our coder and learn how to code that program file. So basically here we are inside our coding, programming, all those kind of IDE. So basically first of all, we need to import the download. So in this line, we are just importing the download package that we have installed. So from download, import download. You need to download the download function here. Now here in this line, I am defining a variable that is URL. So basically I will take an input that enter your URL here and it will basically they will provide the URL here and the next variable will be file path. So here in this line of code, I'm just importing the file path that will be provided by the user. So file path equals to input. Make sure to use that input function out right there to enter the file path here. Okay. So let me just create a file kind. So in this line of code, we are basically specifying that what kind of file you need to be installed or downloaded. So basically enter your file kind here. These are for now only because after some more series, we will be designing the icons, buttons and we will be defining all of these functions. Okay. So now we need to make sure we need to save it on a path. So basically here I have used the download function. The first arguments take the URL which you have just imported and the second argument will take the file name. The third one is kind. You can specify this by writing kind and then 
colon started zip or whatever you need so basically i have just defined a variable instead of it so i have just given the name and progress bar is optional you can just keep it true or false whatever you need but for our tutorial for your convenience i'm just typing in true it looks better whatever it do so basically you can just type in false for our later tutorial on so in this lineup code i have just printed out that file name that we are downloading and it will show downloading whatever it is so that will simply show so this is the file the code that we are doing so basically make sure that you are making a pi file in a whole folder that is ice cream downloader i have just named it and this is the pi file that we will be using at the back end so you make sure that you can create that on your ide and then after doing that write down this code if there is any doubt just ask me below on the comment section i will answer them all so basically here we have defined the url file path file kind and the path now path is mainly we have defined the function that is download it will basically download the url to the main file name and this should be a kind and the progress bar is true so make sure that kind is the type of file you are downloading and after that been done it will basically print the file name and the place where it is downloaded so it will just show downloading so all of this done so control s or command s on a mac to save this whole project after saving it go into your folder and we will start running this program right on there so here i am inside my command promote whatever it is so basically i will write downloader.py here and now hit enter so enter your url here so i will have a url that is a font url so let me just type in that okay after that been done you can just do is basically hit enter and enter your file path here so let me just define a file path that should be font and fonts yes the file name should be fonts and then file kind uh, it should be zip so zip zip and you can use much of the stuff you can just check out their website by going to that given link in the description so now we have all the parameters done now hit enter so fonts downloading and it will take some time to download and as you can see we have the fonts folder inside our windows or desktop whatever it is so i have that file even though they're on my screen if you're a mac user then you have this on your screen side view that is on the right side and for windows user wherever you have the run that pi file it will be there so basically this is it and this looks crazy and really good code to write so basically this was the first tutorial on how to write code to make this kind of downloader just using python so this was the first tutorial and here we have just created the downloader.py file that is the backend in the next tutorial we will be learning how to create its ui and design some more stuff and we will be finally connecting it with eel and at the last tutorial we will be learning it how to just export it as an executable file so after that been done thank you so you can get in touch by our social media platform that is proxlite instagram facebook whatever it is and you can just mail us on proxlite 2 at the rate gmail.com if there is any queries and you can just subscribe us on this channel and hit that like button and smash that share button to share it to all around the globe basically this is it so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to like subscribe and share Goodbye.